All right, Trevor, why don't you introduce yourself and tell them what we're going to talk about. Uh, my name is Trevor. I'm with Medicare Express. Um, we've been doing um, warm transfers for five, six years. But a year and a half ago, we started doing in-home appointments, which I believe is what brings me on here today. Um, so essentially, we use our same recipe that we had a lot of success doing um, warm transfers with GoHealth, Select Quote, to setting in-home appointments for agents. Um, we do them over two phone calls. It goes right on the agent's um, right on the agent's calendar. Um, each agent that signs up will have access to a portal where they connect their personal calendar. So if you use Google Mail, for instance, you'll connect your Google Mail calendar directly to our platform. It takes 30 seconds to, to, to connect the two so we know when you're busy and when you're not. And when we're talking to these customers and they would like to sit down with a local license agent, we um, we book the appointment and we're able to know when you're busy and when you're not busy based on your own um, personal schedule and your availability. Um, it goes right on your calendar. It goes in the portal. You get a text message. We create a, a group text with you and the customer with all, all the vital information. Um, so pretty much all you have to do is show up to the appointment and do what you, you do best, which is um, sell. So you're doing uh, in-home leads, right? And uh, yep, is there, leads. Yep. yep. And what kind of cost is associated with that? Yeah, we charge one hundred dollars per scoped appointment. We capture the scope when we set up the appointment. Excellent. And I guess I missed this. How long y'all been doing this? We've been doing in-home appointment setting for a year and a half. We've been doing warm transfers for five to six years now. <clears throat> And how are the warm transfers going well? <coughs> yeah. The reason I ask is because we use another company to do warm transfers. Yeah, but we. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we do. We're, we're yeah, we're trying to, um, you know, with the new CMS rules, it's a little more tricky now to do warm transfers. So now we do home appointment, get the scope. Um, it's just a better, it's a better experience for the customer we find, which is another reason why we're kind of transitioning our business to in-home appointments. Um, it's easier for the customer. I mean, the customers get phone calls all day long. Um, so if they have a local agent to sit down at the table and go over different plans, it's just a, a better experience. Now, having said that, um, we're just rolling out ne next week. Part of our platform is to do, um, it's a thing called instant meetings, which is warm transfers for, you know, we, we obviously have agents on the program. We fill their schedule as best we can, but to fill those gaps, agents will be able to select in the portal if they want to receive, we call them instant meetings, but they're warm transfers. So if you're sitting at home with two hours um, of free time, you can flip a switch in the portal um, and receive warm transfers. It's not $100 um, for those, but um, yeah, we, we, it's going to be somewhat new. We've been, we've been piloting it with now uh, with agents who are part of our in-home appointments for the last two months, and we're going to roll it out to all the agents that are in our program next week. So not to confuse the two, but uh, that's going to be happening next week. So you're ready to go. So how far, uh, what's the radius I can get book an appointment for, for an in-home appointment? Is it five miles, 10, 20? Yeah, so when 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 agents register, they'll be um, the first thing they'll do is put their basic information in name, email address, cell phone number. But then the next thing will be the zip codes that they want to receive these appointments. It's totally up to the agent. Um, I don't know where you guys are, but I believe it's Texas, especially based on the cowboy sweatshirt. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, how about them cowboys? Yeah. And um, yeah. <laughs> So uh, we have agents that actually started this um, program with two agents in East Texas, Tyler, Texas. I believe that's in East Texas. Um, and um, so anyways, you can you can select the zip codes you want to work, whatever you, you think is best. Um, 
beyond the initial registration, if you want to add zip codes or delete zip codes, you just need to email the support team or myself, support at medicareexpress.com. All this will be in the portal or there will be no lack of information on how to get in touch with us. But um, you, you totally choose how you want uh, these zip codes to work. If, you know, there's certain areas you want to go in, certain areas you don't want to, you can deselect, select. It's totally up to you. If you want to only drive five minutes from your home, select that. Obviously, the more zip codes that you have, the more opportunity you're going to have, but it's totally up to, to you and what you're comfortable doing. If you want to drive an hour, drive an hour. If you want to only drive five minutes, only drive five minutes. All right. Getting back to the warm leads, if I have a dud, like a customer service call or whatever, do I... Uh, do you, will you give me credit and I get another lead or how does that work? So the the instant meetings program works differently than our in-home appointments. Our in-home appointments, if you get a dud, which does happen, um, we do have a QA process. Again, it's support at MedicareExpress.com. We have a QA team that will help you reschedule or help with any issues you have with an in-home appointment. Um, you know, you get to the person's home and you get to the door and they're like, and they tell you, oh, I told them on the phone, yada, yada, yada. So then you can, you can email us and say, I just showed up to Susie Q's home and she told me that she told you guys they have no interest in changing plans. So we'll go back and look at, look at it. And if that's the case, then we cancel it out. It's not billable. The instant meetings, um, I haven't really been part of that process. And like I said, it starts next week. I believe there's no QA process. It's, um, it, I, I believe that what's payable or what's billable is once we transfer the call to the agent after five seconds, that becomes a billable occurrence. Um, I think that's the reason behind us charging much less, uh, it being $39, because we anticipate the conversion rate is going to be a little bit lower. So I don't think there is a QA process as it stands right now. Got it. Got it. Hey, and anybody on this call that would like to ask a question, just uh, get on the chat line up at the very top to your left, and you can ask a question. I can ask Trevor. Or he can see it also. So if y'all have any questions, just let us know. And the other thing, too, is and I'll kind of a – sorry to cut you off, Todd. So all kind of like – if you don't have a question, that's fine. Or if you do and you're afraid to ask it. So what will happen is when agents sign up, um, like I said, you're going to put your basic information. You're going to click a link. You're going to put your basic information in your name, email address, cell phone number. You're going to select the zip codes you want. Then you're going to get sent a link, which will be access to the portal. And what that is, the agent portal is going to have pretty much, that's where all your appointments are going to land. It's a, so when you first go in there, you're going to connect your calendar there. The first thing you're going to see is going to say, connect your calendar. You're going to connect your calendar. The other thing you're going to do, there's training. There's four training videos. They're about five minutes long each. It goes through the program in detail so you fully understand how we set these appointments, what to expect, yada, yada, yada. There's four videos. At the end of each video, there's, um, there's like two or three questions to answer. Once you complete the training and connect your calendar, then you can start getting appointments. So if there's, you know, if you're wondering, um, oh, I have a question about yada, 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 it's going to be, it's going to be covered in the training, but the gist of it is kind of what I've, what I've explained. Um, you can pretty much, we have agents that start, you know, based on getting started and they convert very, very well. So, um, It'll certainly make sense to make sense to you as you go through the process. As you go through the process, there's contact information. I believe I'm on there. The support inbox. We have a whole crew of people that can that can answer your questions. But it's all it's all very simple. So Joseph asked, where can they get more information uh, about this? Is on your website. You're going to send them something, or I can send you their email addresses, or yeah, that that would work. Um, yeah. That's probably the, the best next step is um, I can send out more information to to, to all and everybody that's on this um, call. Okay, and then another lady, she just came in a little later, and the, the uh, name of the lead program is Medicare Express, 
She just wanted to know if you could say it real quick again, the cost of the two lead types. Yeah, so we charge $100 per scoped in-home appointment. Um, and like I mentioned, these go right onto your personal calendar. They go into the portal. You get a text um, with all the customer information. You get the results from the conversation we have with the customer and what we call a quiz. So you can see what plan they're currently on, if they have Medicaid, disability, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we book these appointments um, no sooner, obviously because of CMS, no earlier than 48 hours out. So today's Thursday afternoon where I sit, you know, we're booking for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, you know, when Monday rolls around, we're booking for, you know, 48 hours beyond. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, if you're available um, and you you adjust your working hours in the portal. And again, it's going to read what's on your calendar when when you're not. So if you have a if I have a hair appointment or I'm golfing on Monday and it's in my calendar, it's not going to book an appointment during that time. Um, so the in-home appointments are $100. Um, and then the instant meetings with the warm trans or the warm transfers, those are going to be $39. Um, again, we've only been piloting it with, I think it's 50 agents or just under 50 agents right now for the last two months at least. Um, and those are going to be, like I said, $39 a pop. $39 a pop. I got it. All righty. That's good. Yeah. Uh, do you have a, do you want to share your uh, contact information? Or you just want to give them your email address? Yeah. Or how you want to do it? Yeah. So my email address is Trevor, T R E V O R, at MedicareExpress.com. But like I said, I'll email everyone um, after this so you, you guys can. Get the sign up links and get started and send another maybe a little introductory video that you can watch as well that talks about um i see those questions there are a minimum amount of lead, um, a minimum there's no minimums no maximums you know for new agents i always suggest you know try maybe three to five see how they go get a feel for them um you know the, the program seems to really work for for really good agents you know some some convert as high as well, some are over percent, but I mean that's one percent. Uh, uh, Trevor, um, you okay. Trevor, so, you just cut off. Trevor, could you repeat that? You just got cut okay, off. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So um the in-home appointments that we've been running one percent. So the that's our average. The good, the good agents. I randomly pulled up one when I was doing a training call earlier, and the agent can, has been on since July, eighty-seven point three percent. So, um, you know, the program works really well for agents that you know take the time, show up to the home. You know, we set the appointment with the husband, but the wife's there, so we count those as sold and referrals. So, you know, handed out business cards. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm happy to help you. Or hey, sorry, I can't help you. Looks like you're on the best plan already. But hey, how about your neighbor or whatever? I mean, those are the the agents that really take the time and network and you know work the referrals. They convert their conversions are through the roof. Um, so the programs worked worked out really well for the the agents have taken the time and um, really you know pursue and really work these to the maximum. So we understand that hundred dollars is is probably more than what a lot of other agents are using for lead sources, but um, good agents really maximize these and their conversions are close to 100%. Because yeah, of I mean, you know, lead companies are really funny, right? I mean, they promise you a lot of things and some of them really good, some not no good, or some aren't that good. The, the biggest thing is you're not going to know about the lead company until you try it, until you dip your, you know, toe into the pool, just see how's it going. Because, look, $100 is a lot of money, but if I'm converting over 80%, that yeah. makes a big difference. I mean, that makes a yeah. huge difference. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's what we want. Like, obviously, I talk with a lot of people, and they love the program. I've talked to some who who don't you know um yeah. but the ones who you know the ones that 
I will access love the program. They're the ones that you know, we give them a lead and they run it down and they work it and they, they seem to sell. We had one person by one meeting, they sold seven people off of it. So they they obviously wow. would they would speak very highly of the program. Right? Well, so, well um, and, and like you said, it depends on how you uh, work it and you also network it. You know, you meet the right. neighbors, the whole thing, you make the most out of that. Right. Well, that's the uh, that's the genius of the in-home appointment because you can do that. The phone transfer ones, you, you can't say, hey, can you pass your phone to whoever else is in your home, right? So, right. but if you go to the home and, hey, they they live with the son or the husband or the mom, now all of a sudden you can look at their plans and say, <laughs> oh, you have, yeah, well, there's an Aetna program that's better and I can help you with this. So. Now you've sold two, three people. Can't do that over the phone. All right, and uh, Belinda wanted to know, are these leads been screened from the do not call list? Yeah, yeah, we don't. Anybody that says do not call or stop or anything like that, we we take the CMS rules very seriously, obviously. Yep, so let me get this straight. I, I go to the portal, I give you my money, I set the hours, my zip code, and then immediately will the leads pop up or do y'all send them to me? Yeah, they'll pop up. You'll get, you know, I'm guessing you're probably in areas where we already do, we already have agents, um, which is fine. It just means we're currently calling and reaching out to marketing in those areas. So, um, most people, especially in Texas, you're going to start getting stuff um, pretty quickly. Um, so be ready. But um, ideally, it's it's only going to be in, in in at times that you want them. So yeah, once you complete the training, connect your calendar, you buy the meetings, you will start getting them right away. But you could there's also like in the portal, and you'll see in the training, there's a pause button. So if you're like, oh, you get two right away, and you're like, well, like, I, hold on, like I want to. I want to see how these go before I continue getting them. There's a there's a pause button right in the porting. Hit pause. We'll stop sending them to you, and then you, know, you run to and you're like, oh, these are great. Unpause yourself and you keep going. Or oh crap, like I'm out of town next week. I better pause myself. Um, pause yourself, and it'll prevent us from setting new meetings for you. So. Um, so would you say one of the major benefits? I thought you. Uh, I thought I heard you say earlier. Y'all find out, you know, you uh, talk to the people that um, get the appointments and they're only three, four days old. Is that correct? We're only going to set these. We're only going to set these appointments. Um, I think the maximum in the distance will be five days. That we used to do this the next day. Like, oh, hey, we can send Todd to your home. How does tomorrow work? But right. we have to stop doing that because the CMS rules. Now we need to get the scope. So we get the scope and then we have to wait 48 hours. So now we say, we can send Todd to your home. How does Monday morning sound? That's why one thing that you'll see in the train and one thing that we encourage is if the appointment is set on for Monday, it's probably pretty important that you jump in the group tab. Right. You know, look forward to meeting with you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Looks like if you man, I think I can, you know, help you with a better plan, that sort of thing. Um, so it's a little bit of a reminder. They're a little bit further out than they used to be. And plus, you know, you did, ideally this customer is going to be your customer for years to come. So, and you're a local agent. You're not just someone that they got the plan with over the phone. So you can, you know, this is someone that you're going to be helping for years to come. Someone that you share a, a city or town with. Someone who you might bump into on the street or at the supermarket. So that engagement with the customer goes a long way. So, uh, and excuse me if I'm asking redundant questions. Your Wi-Fi, uh, your uh, webcam, or your web stuff is uh, going in and out. So, excuse me if I'm asking the All same right. questions yeah. twice. This is a real rough. I guess you got real rough reception. Uh, okay. The other thing I wanted to ask. All right. After I buy the leads, did you say someone's going to call them and say, "Hey, Todd's going to be there Monday at nine o'clock"? Is that correct, or do I do that? Uh, sorry, am I still here? Am I still yeah. on? Yeah, you're still here. Okay. I just got a notification saying I need to restart it. Um, sorry, repeat the beginning of the question. Yeah, what I was saying is, I think you said earlier that you would tell the customer, hey, Todd uh, will be there at 10 Tuesday afternoon. Is that correct? 
after I buy them, the time and all that, y'all call them? Yeah, so like, yeah, so when we're on the phone with the customer and they want, we qualify them, they have Medicare and B, you know, we run through benefits in their area and then we say, okay, we'd like in a local agent to review your current plan. Then we say, okay, yeah, Todd, Todd can meet you, you know, Monday at 9 a.m. Um, when that's confirmed, we send a group text, the agents on it, the customer, the customer gets the text, they get an email, we confirm it with them. So at that point, when we schedule the appointment, the agent and the customer are now connected and they have all the same information on knowing. When, I think we, when we're on the phone, we say, right, you have a pen and piece of paper, can you write this down? And then we ask them to repeat it so they know, so they take the time to write it down, even though they get a text and email about it. Got it. All right. So uh, essentially what you're going to do is send everybody an email with your contact information and more information. Is that correct, Trev? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Excellent. If y'all have any more questions, let me see. Let me go through my texts real quick. Yeah, for sure. Sorry about my Wi-Fi. What's that? Oh, Sorry, I didn't hear that. Sorry about my Wi-Fi. All right. All right, Trevor. Thanks for joining us. We'll be looking forward for that information. Just awesome. uh, send us an email and we'll go from there. Awesome. Thanks, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. And thanks. I apologize again for the Wi-Fi issues. Okay. Thank you, Trevor. Goodbye. Yeah.